Hi there, I'm Jesse, I work for Statomic, and today we're going to be migrating a Statomic v2 site to a v3 beta site. This is Dungeon Master Academy, an example site designed by Jack that we'll be using for our migration. So v3 has several upgrades and breaking changes, which we attempt to outline in the upgrade guide here, but we're also providing a migrator package this time around to help automate the process. For example, it knows about field sets and the new blueprints that replace them, it knows about the new pages structure, it knows about the new Laravel configs and where they go, it knows about your theme and where the new Laravel views need to go, etc. It's worth noting that it won't migrate absolutely everything on your site, but we've done our best to automate the tedious stuff for you. All right, so to get started, you'll need a fresh v3 installation, so let's head over to the v3 docs. Click installation. Note that there are a few alpha prerequisites here, so you'll need to clone these repos down, compile the assets, add these package path repositories into your composer config.json file. I've already done these things locally on my machine here. Then we'll need to create our new Statomic project. So there are two ways of doing that. You can create a new Statomic project, and this is using a starter repo that we've uh, created for you, or you can install into an existing Laravel app but for the purpose of migrating a v2 site, you should really be installing into this starter repo. So let's grab this line here and install that. I should note here that I've got the old v2 site in this uh, folder here. So we're just going to create a new v3 site alongside of it. We'll let that create. All right, so let's navigate in here. Now I'm going to create a git repo and commit our first commit. And then the next step is to install the migrator package. Once again, there are a few alpha prerequisites here, which I've already done locally on my machine. And then you can run this composer require command to install the migrator. We'll copy that and run that in the root of our project. Okay, so now that we have that installed, the next step is to copy our old site folder, as well as any asset folders, into our new v3 site. You just put them right in the project root alongside everything else, and then the migrator commands will know where to find them. Now going back to your terminal, one little gotcha is that the starter site we've installed ships with a pages collection and some views and whatnot. We don't want any conflicts with our v2 site that we've just copied over. So let's quickly clear those out using php please site clear. Before we run any of the migrator commands, Tyler recommended that we commit all of our changes up to this point. That way we can view a diff of the changes that the migrator performs. Now we're ready to run the migrator commands. So if we run php please, we can see what's available to us. This grouping of commands here is added by the migrator package. So they're just temporary, and they'll be deleted after the migration is complete. Um, there's a bunch of individual migrators in here, but the one that you'll probably want is migrate site. It loops through your site folder, looks through all the content, all the settings and everything, and it runs these individual migrators for you. So it's, it's kind of like a complete migration. Whereas if you really need to migrate just one thing, maybe you're intentionally only migrating a blog, you could just migrate that collection and be done. But for us, we'll be definitely migrating the whole site. So if we run the php please migrate site command, it'll spit out a bunch of useful output for us here, telling us what's been done. The site migration complete. There was one error, one warning, and the rest looked to be successful. Let's just take a look at the output here. So our warning is about the codex field set. It was a redactor field and has been migrated to BARD. Not all redactor features and settings are BARD compatible. Please revise your BARD configuration as necessary. And the error was that a user could not be migrated because a valid email is required to migrate this user. So the cool thing about these migrators is that they're item potent in that you can address these errors and warnings as you need and then rerun the command without any real negative side effects. Let's just fix that user real quick. I'll give him an email. And like I said, we can rerun this command. So now that we've changed the email, you can see that the user has been migrated successfully. 
All right, so since we committed everything before the migration, now we can take a look at diffs of everything that the migration performed. So it looks like it's migrated some config files for us. We've got a new file system. This is our assets disk um, pointing to where the new assets have been copied to. Um, got some routes that were moved over, a redirect, um, a site. So localizations in V2 were, are now V3 sites. Um, as so we've just got our default English localization here. Got our assets YAML file. Got a collections YAML file. Looks like we've got our markdown files for our various posts. Um, pages are now collections. So you can see we've moved the pages over as a collection. And we've also created a pages structure. Um, the structure is basically what the tree was in V2. So if you had any nested pages, you would see them here within this tree. Copied over our taxonomies, moved over our assets and created meta files for them. Copied over a lot of our views and of course our users. And let's take a look at the control panel. We've got our collections here, our pages structure, our assets container, all of our assets, our globals, our users, everything's looking pretty good. So likely you'll have a lot more to migrate in the front end since Antlers templating has quite a few breaking changes with the tags and modifiers and whatnot. But hopefully you find this helpful, at least for moving your content over and your users over and whatnot. If you take a look at the upgrade guide here, um, we've listed a lot of the breaking changes in core and in the API. Um, so please read over that and get familiar with the changes that are inside of McV3. Finally, to wrap up here, after you've gone through your migrations, you've checked over all of your changes and you're happy with the results, you can run this composer remove static migrator command to remove the migrator from your site. And the last thing I'd like to mention is if you have any issues with your migration or if you have any future suggestions, by all means, please open an issue as we'd love to improve this migrator for everyone.